right folks today for me time to do another video again for YouTube or for the world wide web a bit about old meters again as I'm originally a metering channel and today it's going to be focused on uh, English electric meters this particular meter that's an old UVA then we got a good old humble B 31 B and we got an old C 31 M meter here so that's going to be focused on Go a bit more into the details of the dials, the gear trains, and uh, see how they spin. It's a fantastic day today. The sun is out. It's spring, 8th of October 2022. And New Zealand is heading towards the summer again, which is nice. Spring is always the best time of the year, just to enjoy uh, the sun and better days. So uh, stay tuned. <laughs> There was three power over these dials. I just spent out of some boxes. Landis and Gear brand new dials from uh, old tri factor meters. Chamberlain and Hookham. Landis and Gear. Sangamo. UVA English Electric again. Uh, Ferranti dials. Some AEG. Yeah, so that's just an overall. I got boxes full of these dials. Anybody is interested in some dials, I'm quite happy to send the other ones over if somebody needs parts, especially meter collectors. These kits are amazing. That is Cookie. I've got this uh, bloody wind. I got these three meters running. The left one is uh, 750 revs. The middle one is 300, but it's seized. And the white one is 300. I will clean the windows of the meters. They're still sealed. Chop those off and then we'll see. So the UVA meter is reading 5455.79. The B31 is uh, 03016.7. And the C31 is 02302.2-ish. Sunlight is your best asset when you're recording meters, uh, as it gives you a full spectrum of colors. It's just uh, a pleasure to have sunlight, and it is a beautiful day for that. Just a little bit of cat is watching me. This cat is always watching what I'm doing. And this uh, eyelashes or puffler, she is always near me. Lovely cat. Ali, push, push. Hey, cat. They are uh, back to the meters. In the years when I worked in the metering, we have thrown thousands of these meters away, the UVAs. That was in the, I worked in the metering department between 1990 and 99, 2001. 2002. The, this type of meter had a tendency to go slow and I'll probably do an accuracy test on it as well. Good view of the gear train. What's going on? The cat's having... This is stuff that is really well made. Check meter from the meter number three. So that is the English Electric uh, C31BM. They come in pointer dial versions as well as in this type of register, cyclo dial. The meter was made in 1971. 
English Electric and later on GEC they used to use the first two digits for the year so A71 means uh, 1971 name tag from the utility can be put in here English Electric uh, meter the B31B 40 ampere maximum that's a 1040 there's also 1060s um, 600% overload they were made 1960 a beautiful good phenolic uh, dolls and then uh, metal gear train not always easy to get good zoom in on the dolls These two meters should essentially run at the same speed, but they don't. They, uh, there appear to be a variation in disk speeds on these two devices. Just notice this in the corner of the B31B, and that could be causing the disk uh, jam. So, this a little bit of paper, huh? So. paper form or something. I'm actually in the possession of many of these dolls so I have a few things to play with. So I've got a couple of those. These are the UVB meters and this is the analog uh, B31B. A couple of these to have a look at. Actually, no, that one should be on this one. This is even older nameplate, so there will be an earlier serial number. Um, got the right amount of electric power board in a brass plate, stamped. Well, this one got a type of white material, phenolic material, something like this. So here we got this doll, and. Um, gear drive and we got a double helix maybe triple helix on this gear wheel driving into an intermediate wheel which drives the one hundredth of the kilowatt hours again beautiful stuff never to be made again good old UVA UVA sorry This register also, uh, yeah, heavy duty, I think phenolic type material, thermoplast or something. It got the drive on this gear wheel here, 300 constants. Metal gear train. This makes it good for extreme climate conditions. Metal gear train. Fast acting digits as well in the tin, so I need to hold it at the right angle. So the tens click over quick on these meters. The test dial is one revolution, is one kilowatt hour. Similar to the Canadian meters, they seem to have a little test dial, while the USA meters uh, don't have a test dial. This is of course a British meter which was used in uh, New Zealand, well in the UK or extensively in um, probably in uh, Australia, although I haven't seen them there. 
and then we've got the analog one, analog we geared train, it's pointers, more or less the same. It's a bit more simple to design. And again, test the dials, they go opposite way to each other, one goes clockwise, the other one goes anti-clockwise. Beautiful equipment. Here's another one of these. Probably got about 30 of these dolls, 30, 40 maybe. Salvage from meters when we ended up in the scrap bin. Very accurate meters. UVA. The nameplate comes off is the case. I think these meters were made in the after the Second World War, late 40s, early 50s. Nameplate is uh, riveted in here. It's some I've seen in screws as well. It's a brown uh, phenolic ba bakelite type things, and then they go more to the polycarbonate. Black bake light type stuff. B city on B. And the C city on BM. Also, again, they are around in 40 ampere versions, 1060s and 2080s. interesting part is I'll have to take the dial off this device, more plastics of course, always more plastics and there seem to be more problems. This is a fully plastic uh, mechanism. Uh, make them spin them from here. Also got a quick release on the tens. Um, I'll show that here. Go away. Got the fast. It adds more complexity. Complexity. Yeah, complexity, that's the word. Three hundred waves, plastic fantastic. Still good cool little dials these. Uh, this got two test pointers, that's a unit pointer, that's the one tenth. One tenth per division, so one revolution is also one unit. That's showing the two digits. Thank you, Dava. It's 11.45 time. Another thing is, this was the float on bearing, magnetic suspension, while these were still on uh, dual sapphire bearings, these particular meters. Go. Rolled over. 